this place. There's no story behind it, but it feels so nostalgic. I see you came. This is all day. involve any other students. We don't quite trust what you've got up your sleeve. Or is there a problem with us being here? We want to know about Vane, too. I suppose it will help me deal with the confusion later. Mrs. Olde, you promised. Please, tell me everything you know about me. Six years ago, an alchemist passed away. His name was Theophratus. My dad, right? Dad? I suppose you can call him that. He made many discoveries, greatly contributing to the advance of alchemy. But everyone around him looked at him with jealous eyes. He couldn't stand it, so he left. He used alchemy to benefit the public. He was free of all his burdens. He was happier than I'd ever seen him. But, in one of the towns he visited, he made an irreparable mistake. There was a girl who was very sick. She had an unknown illness, but he was overconfident. He believed he knew how to cure the girl. What? That's... What is it, Jess? N nothing I'm sorry. He tried to cure her using his own unique alchemy methods. As a result, he was able to rid the girl of her disease. But her life, her remaining time, had also been taken with the disease. But the girl was grateful. With her innocent smile, she thanked him deeply. But this tormented him. Being aware of his lack of power, he disappeared. Living quietly in the forest, his heart slowly became distorted. That's why there's nothing written about his final years. Jess, you look a little pale. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Nice monologue, but do you mind speeding it up? His distorted mind slowly filled with dark emotions. Conceit of being a genius, vengeance against mockery, vanity despite others. In order to satisfy those emotions, he set upon his final research. Creating life, a refined form of artificial mana. Do you understand yet? Four out of ten. He's way too nice for those kinds of emotions. Harsh criticism. But I'm sure you can think of times that confirm this. But that can't be. I just have amnesia. I wish you were just an artificial life. If that were the case, you would not have been so fascinating. The problem is, the powers you hold as a mana... No, that wasn't... it wasn't my... Who restored the burn tree? Who 
defeated the great beast? Who released the frozen mana from the crystal? Who revived a dead cat? Your power did all that. But that's not... You're lying! It's just a coincidence! I mean, do you even have proof that Vane did all that? Nikki's right. Your conclusion does sound like a bit of a stretch. And what do you think? <laughs> then I'll give you proof. I probably shouldn't do this, but... Confident. Damn you! No! This is a joke, right? I killed him. I'm sure of it. What? Why did... Just wish. Again? Who are you? Make a wish and it'll come true. It's simple and understandable. If I wish, is that my... Do you want to help him? Do you want to save him? Then wish. That's... Of course! I want to save him! I want to save him! This was... Do you understand the truth about you now? What your power is? You can fulfill your own, anybody's wishes. But you can't do that! It's like murder! What purpose did that serve to kill a student? What are you after? I thought if you lost your cat, your contract master, then maybe... But that didn't work. Now there's only one way. Answer me. The power to restore life with just a wish can take it away just as easily. Used inappropriately, it can conquer the world. I cannot overlook that. The world? That doesn't give you the right to... It was all his fault. He caused all of this by creating such a power. But... I won't let anyone degrade his glorious name any further. Mrs. Zolde, you... You and Dad were... <coughs> While your power is still maturing, before it's full-fledged, disappear! 